in part two, chapter five of Gulliver's Travels, Gulliver explains that he's had several accidents that nearly kill him in Brobdingnag. The queen's dwarf drops a barrel of apples on him. He's nearly squashed in a hailstorm. The gardener's dog retrieves him in its mouth. A kite, or bird of prey, almost carries him away in its talons, and he falls inside a molehill. On top of all this, the queen's maids of honor play with Gulliver as if he's a toy. The maids often strip naked in front of him and strip him naked as well. Gulliver is repulsed by their strong smell and the sight of their bare, giant bodies. Later, Gulliver is taken to witness the execution of a criminal. Normally, he's not interested in such gruesome spectacles, but he is curious to see an execution on a giant scale. The queen has a special tiny rowboat and pool made for Gulliver's exercise and entertainment. A frog jumps into his pool and almost capsizes his boat, but Gulliver fights it away with one of his oars. At one point, Gulliver relays a story about a monkey that gets loose in the palace, carries Gulliver to the roof, and feeds him like a baby. Gulliver almost chokes from the force-fed food. An audience of giants watches and laughs heartily. Glumdalclitch saves him just in time and forces him to vomit. The king asks Gulliver what he would have done if a monkey had attacked him in England. Gulliver says there are no monkeys there, but if a giant creature attacked, he would use his sword. The king laughs at Gulliver's response. Glumdalclitch takes Gulliver to the countryside, where he walks knee-deep into a pile of cow dung. The story amuses members of the royal court. The dangers Gulliver faces in Brobdingnag illustrate the vulnerabilities of the human condition and just how easily human dignity can be lost. Even though the king and queen favor him, the favor cannot save Gulliver from the hazards of nature. Paradoxically, although the king and queen favor Gulliver, they also treat him as something of a joke. 